This bear seems to be asleep, but is it though? It could be hibernating or estivating. Then how do you know? Let's find out. Hibernation and estivation is the period of time in which an animal goes to a dormant state to conserve energy during extreme climates. Estivation and hibernation have the same regulations for torpor and arousal, but the two processes differ in what triggers each process. Now that we know the basis, let's go into more detail. Animals have an internal clock which triggers and signals the body to go into dormant state. Due to their internal clock, the animals have a sense of knowing when to wake up. Then what is this internal clock? The internal clock is a series of chemical reactions controlled by the hypothalamus in an animal's brain. The hypothalamus has cold, warm, and thermosensitive neurons that control arousal. Each cycle of torpor and arousal is mainly influenced by the use of rapidly reversible molecular switches. One example is phosphorylation. Basically, think of phosphorylation as a supervisor. It controls the p53 protein so that it doesn't produce too much mRNA in protein. Then, if the proteins are continually made, do you not conserve energy during the dormant period? No, phosphorylation controls the protein activity only to tolerate severe reductions in cerebral blood and oxygen delivery capacity. We know what controls dormant state and metabolism. Before, what initiates and reverses torpor during this period is still unknown. Hibernation and estivation are important parts of an animal's life. Because it is important, we should know it in order to not wake up a sleeping, no, hibernating bear.